guys, today I'm going to be doing a challenge. I'm so nervous because I've never done this before and it's either going to go really badly or I'm going to surprise myself. So I'm going to be doing the no mirror makeup challenge. So I'm going to be moving my mirror. So I'm going to try and actually do my makeup properly um, and see like how well I can do it without seeing what I'm doing. So yeah, I think the main thing is like going to be remembering every step because like you can't see it on your face. But let's get started. For primer today, I'm going to use the One Step Correct by Stila. This is just a little mini one. I don't really need to tell you what I'm using, hey. It's more so about trying to focus on where I'm putting it. Now foundation. I'm just gonna try and like over blend everything. I feel like my face is gonna look so focused in this video because I'm gonna be trying so hard to think. This step again is pretty easy, I reckon. I don't think there's any way of really stuffing it up unless you forgot about like a whole section of your face. Okay, I might use a little bit more. Feels like I've got it everywhere, so just a little bit, probably too much, take off the rest. I guess you're sort of best off having quite a bit of coverage, maybe, I don't know. Okay, my lips aren't disappearing, I need to be aware of that. I hate having foundation on my lips. Oh, such a bad look, such a bad look. Okay. Blend, 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 blend. Okay. So yeah. But yeah, so this is my first official day in isolation. My job closed yesterday. I didn't lose my job, so grateful for that. But we did shut yesterday um, for four weeks to start off with. So I don't know how long this time is going to be. I'm just going to try and get into like a routine. I feel like it would be, I'm just going to do my concealer while I talk. Oh, I feel like it would be really unhealthy for some people to not have a routine during this time. Like especially people with um, mental illness and things like that. I know for me, I'm someone that can get quite anxious and like, I don't know, I get really weird not doing things. I like to be busy doing things because I just don't really know what to do with myself. So this time like is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think we just need to try and do everything that we can to like keep ourselves busy, like little projects and things like that. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, yeah. But yeah, I definitely suggest that you guys if you are bored at home, like get a journal and like jot down things that you want to get done in that day because it will be really easy for everyone just to like stay in bed all day and not go out and do anything, but it's just not healthy for your mind. So definitely, um, yeah, like jotting down certain like goals that you want to get done in the day and then ticking them off. I feel like that would be a good step. That's definitely what I'll be doing. Okay, so I've just done my concealer. I use the Bare Minerals Concealer. I'm pretty sure I've blended everywhere I put it. I've gone over every area like three times. The hardest part is gonna be my eyebrows. That is gonna, oh. I think everything else will be fairly straightforward, except for the eyebrows. I'm probably looking like a complete mess right now. You guys will be like, you already look like a mess. Okay, I'm not gonna do any of my strategic powdering. I'm just gonna get it on there. I think using powder products today are going to be a little bit easier than using cream. I really wonder how it's looking so far. I feel in my mind it's just looking how I normally do my makeup. I don't think I've, you know, there's not much you can screw up with those two steps. The only thing that now might be on my face is like bristles off this brush. Yes, I bet you there is. This brush always sheds. I don't know why I'm using so much powder. I feel like I'm shiny. Like, I feel like... My foundation's really like wet on my face right now, like I can really feel it. Bronzer. I'm going to be using the Hula Light Bronzer. 
I always use the light one. I don't know. I think I like the color better of it than the dark one. And it's good for something like this because I can just slowly build it up and it won't be too hectic. This will actually be good if I go well at this because then I'll know no matter where I am, even if I don't have a mirror, I can trust myself doing my makeup. I think after so many years of like putting the things in the same spot, like you do sort of remember, you know, how that feels. But I've seen so many people do this challenge and like their face just like turns out so funny. I love like if I have all this confidence, the whole video, I'm like, oh, I think it looks so great. And then it gets to the end and I look like one of those crazy people. Yeah, I've been going with the bronzer a fair bit. I probably won't be like as bronzed as I usually am. Might grab a little bit of this bronzer as well. Just dab over the top. I feel like I'm just like staring into your soul. I don't know where else to look. Okay, I think I'm going to take a spoolie and just like go around my face. Anywhere that I'm itchy and I think that there's a hair bristle. Just try and scratch off. Oh my god, imagine if I've got like 10 on my face right now. I won't know. I won't know until the end. I'm really sorry if I have bristles all over my face. I know that would be so annoying to watch. <gasps> Let's hope not. Okay. The Mercier one yesterday and it was so pretty. Oh yeah, this one. Um, Addiction by Laura Mercier. Such an, like that looks like a really dark gold, but it doesn't actually go on that dark. Oh, and it's also got a mirror. Be careful. Don't let yourself. So I'm just dabbing that on the high points. Hope you can see how pretty it is. I'm really nervous to do my eyebrows. It's coming up soon. Fuck. That part is going to ruin me. I can already feel it. Mascara, I know I can do um, without a mirror. Like, I'll probably get it on some parts of my face, but for the most part, I can, like, get it on there, so that's all right. Now, blush. I'm going to use MAC Warm Soul for my blush today. I wish I could see, like, the face makeup now and see how I've gone. Because when I get these eyebrows on, like, none of it's going to look good anymore. Alright, guys. It is time for my eyebrows. Oh, God. Like, if I wanted to cop out of this, I'd literally just put, like, some gel in there. And that'd be it. But, look, I feel like this video is quite boring so far anyway. So, okay. I'm just going to feel where my hairs are. Really kind of try and focus. I can feel that I'm on top of my hair when I'm doing that. I don't know. I don't know how much more to do. Obviously, like, it usually takes me a lot longer than that to do my eyebrow, but I don't know which part's been done. Okay. I'm going to finish there. I know that is probably not what my eyebrow normally looks like. Okay. Just move on to the other one, I suppose. Again, I feel like just like the memory of doing it is sort of just like putting the pencil like where it needs to be. At least I haven't felt like I've like gone like onto my skin too much. I feel like a lot of YouTubers make this out to be like harder than it is. Okay, done on that one as well. I'm going for subtle brows, I think. I think they're subtle. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. I'm gonna use Afternoon Delight. To make this interesting, like I probably should try and do like more crazy colors. And I also don't really want to like screw it up. I sort of just want to do like my everyday makeup without a mirror and see like if I can actually do it or like no. The eyebrows I know are not going to be like how I do my eyebrows. This is fairly easy too because I know this 
shade is quite like blendable. It's not gonna look crazy. My ear is a bit of Call Me Back. Just on the outer. Blend, 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 blend. I really hope the camera's still recording. Maybe I should check that. I'm pretty sure it is. Gosh, if it hasn't been recording this time, I'm going to be very upset. Very, very angry. Um, why don't I take a look? How's it looking, guys? Does it look fabulous? Um, then what to do, what to do, what to do. This little angled fluffy brush and put this dark brown set in stone. A little bit just along, along the lash line. My face was so weird just then. I could feel it. Just to create a little bit more definition, you know? Okay, stop. Should I put some shimmer on the lid? Should I be a bit exciting? Might put floaty pop. Obviously this is easy. My finger can feel where my eyelid is. Probably got sparkle on my face though, that's the only problem with these. It is quite a bit of fallout. This little shimmery one, Love Spark. That feels weird actually doing that part without a mirror. Mascara time, we're almost done. So I am gonna still put on my lash primer and my mascara, so this is the Smashbox lash primer. I am over these little white fluffs, I swear to God. If I could do anything to get them out of my life, I would. Okay, primer's on, that was easy, it's clear. <laughs> now mascara. Mascara will be fine, actually. This is so easy. How do people find this hard? Like, you can feel your eyelashes. If anything, I just won't have as much as what I normally do, but, like, that's fine. Okay, that's mascara on one eye. I haven't had that missed a chunk of my lashes. But for the most part, like actually doing the motion and finding your eyelashes is so easy. I think people are calling bullshit if they find it like hard to like find their lashes. Like, you know where they're gonna be. It's your body. Okay, that's our mascara done. I'm gonna try and clean up what I did over here. Move spoolie. Was there, I'm pretty sure. I hope I got it. Hopefully, go over with my foundation brush a little. Some lip gloss on. I'm gonna put cool it on from Mecca Max. <gasps> no, there was a brush hair on my lip the whole time. Oh my god, no, <gasps> that's really sad. I would have looked weird that whole time. Hey, well, what can you do? <laughs> I can't believe it's right there the whole time. You guys just would have been thinking, fire out, she's got no idea. Well, at least you know that I definitely didn't have a mirror in front of me and I was cheating. 